Hey, it's Jack. In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between the Cape Cod MLS, owned by the Cape Realtors Association, and the MLS PIN, which is not owned by a Realtor Association and covers all of Massachusetts. Let's take a look at first the market share between these two MLSs and start to think about what are you really paying for as an agent. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to Zillow, you know it well, and type in Barnstable County, which is all of Cape Cod, right? And see how many single family home listings for sale that are available. And let's go up to home type and click uh, houses. Houses Houses only, all right? So we, talk, we don't want condos, multifamily, no, no, no. We're going to go for single family homes. And we have a total number here of uh, 681. Now, it's very important to understand that Zillow takes the syndication feed from the Cape MLS and the MLS pin and theoretically, they combine those and spit out any duplicates. So theoretically, from both MLSs, you have 681 single-family homes for sale in Barnstable County as of today, which is uh, July 21st. So <clears throat> let's remember that one, 681 altogether. Now, if I go over to my MLS account and I select Barnstable County and hit search, I'm going to get 468 total listings. So the first one was 681. An MLS pin out of those 681, 468 are listed on MLS pin. Huh. Wow, that's a lot. So let's review the numbers. On Zillow, which theoretically should be the entire universe of uh, MLS listings, uh, assuming they're doing their job right. And then they have gotten better. Um, 681, all countywide, Barnstable County. MLS PIN has 468 of those. Now, I don't have a Cape MLS account anymore, so I don't know actually how many of those, maybe some of you watching can tell us, are actually also listed on the Cape MLS. Either duplicate listings on the Cape MLS or only listed on the Cape MLS. But either way, you can clearly see that the majority of the listings are on MLS PIN. That's as clear as day. What is that percentage? I couldn't do the math in my head. I had to stop the video and do the calculation. It's 68%. 68% of Barnstable County single family homes are listed via the MLS PIN. Now, that probably means that there are a lot of agents out there that are actually, in a very inefficient way and expensive way, members of both the MLS PIN and the Cape Realtors. Sorry, phone call. I'm running a business here, you know. Uh, let me say that again. That means there are probably a lot of agents out there that are members of MLS PIN and the Cape Realtors Association or the Cape MLS. And yeah, that's really inefficient. It means there's a lot of agents out there paying memberships to two MLSs. Very expensive. Here, here's the thing. The Cape MLS for a long, long time basically was established to try to keep off Cape agents from selling Cape Cod homes. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? They don't officially tell you that, because, of course, that would be an antitrust violation. But that's what it's all about. A lot of people don't actually want to say that. But you know it's true. So you have this legacy organization that is basically no longer able to maintain that semi-monopoly because of the Internet. Yet they kind of cling on and take money out of everyday agents' wallets. Now, most of you are going to say, well, I've got to be a realtor anyway, so why don't I just pay? That doesn't make a lot of sense. You don't have to be a realtor. I'm not a realtor. I'm a real estate broker, licensed real estate broker. But here at my agency, actually, we own our own forms, our own intellectual property. 
And so we're not members of the realtors because we don't need their forms and we don't need their MLS because we're part of the MLS PIN, which is not owned by the realtors and does not require realtor membership. So, you know, if I was a broker down the Cape, I'd be looking at this and saying to myself, why am I paying both MLSs? And why am I agents paying both MLSs? We've been selling homes all over the Cape from Falmouth to Wellfleet with MLS pin only, with MLS pin only and doing just fine. Now, I don't know if I would have said that six or seven, eight years ago, but things have changed. In the last three or four or five years, especially since even well before the pandemic, that has changed. And you don't need the Cape MLS anymore to sell on Cape Cod. It's just, you just don't need it. You don't need the syndication to the local newspaper because nobody reads the local newspaper anymore. And the syndication you get off of MLS PIN is, out, is all that you need and well more actually. Plus, if you're licensed in other states, which I'm not, but many of you are, if you're licensed in some other states through MLS PIN, you can actually, if you're licensed in those states, like I'm just gonna throw out one, Vermont, if you're licensed in Vermont, and I think New Hampshire, you can check the list. Um, you can list properties in those states through MLS PIN, which is a great benefit if you're licensed in other states, check the list. Eh, just go get that list for you right now. I was curious myself. So let's see, the list is uh, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, Rhode Island, Vermont. So if you're licensed in any of those states, really benefits to have an MLS PIN account, doesn't it? Um, so there's the list. So thanks for watching. And I hope that's helpful and realizing that it's expensive if you're paying for both MLSs. You probably already know that. And it's not really efficient, nor is it any more effective. You're not getting any bigger bang for your buck which is very important when everything seems to be going up. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to save a little money from time to time on your real estate marketing, right? All right. Hey, I'm Jack from Jack Eatley Real Estate and the Online Real Estate Academy. Have a great day. Have a profitable day. Bye-bye.